Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I've got another Walking Dead video for you all today. And this one is going to be over the subject of Rick and Carl will not die by Negan and Lucille, in my opinion. And I have some reasoning for this, but first, I do know that there's going to be a lot of people that say, well, obviously Psycho. But I wanted to do this video because we can cut down the numbers a little bit more and focus on a smaller grouping of people, since we can possibly take Carl and Rick out of the equation, which then in terms drops down the lineup count by two and makes it easier for us to focus on certain characters and analyze things. And also I noticed a lot of people saying that they think Carl or Rick could die by Negan. And I was really surprised about this because I didn't think a lot of people had the idea that Rick or Carl could die. Because these are characters that seem pretty much safe. If Rick died, I feel like it would negatively impact the show when it comes to writing because it is his story and it is about Carl. So those two characters are very important. And now to move on to some bits of my reasoning, there was one quote that Negan stated that made it seem like it could not be Carl or Rick. This quote was where he was about to hit the person in POV with a bat, and he says, Anyone moves, anyone says anything, cut the boy's eye out and feed it to his father, and then we'll start. This points to the idea that it cannot be Carl or Rick, because the boy he's talking about is Carl, and then by saying father, he's talking about Rick, and he's basically saying, if anyone tries to make a move when I'm bashing this person's brains in, I will make sure to cut the boy's eye out, implying that the boy is not the person that he is going to be beating to death, and then feed it to his father, and by him saying that he would cut his eye out and feed it to Rick, this is basically implying the idea that Rick is not going to take the bat because he wants Rick to witness this, and you can't really feed someone that has their face bashed in the eyeball of their own son. So why would he say if someone tries something, I'm going to do this to the person, if he is bashing the person's head in already, implying the idea that it cannot be Rick because if he's going to feed it to Rick, he can't be the one getting his face bashed in. So we know that Rick is going to be safe, definitely, because it makes sense that he would leave the leader alive because he wants to break down that leader, and considering other people in his group follow Rick Grimes, when they see Rick Grimes possibly break down, they're going to fall in line as well, and that's exactly what Negan is wanting. So we know that by Negan saying that he's going to cut Carl's eye out if somebody tries to do something as he's bashing in this other person's head, we know that it can't be Carl because why would they try to cut a person's eye out in which they are already bashing their head in, therefore pointing to the idea that Rick and Carl are the two people that we know for sure that Negan has not chosen. This is something that I definitely wanted to talk about because I was really surprised to see a lot of people actually saying that they thought it could be Rick or Carl. And this was a line of dialogue that I felt purposely intended to point to the idea that these two characters are safe. And I really did like this line of dialogue, not only because it pointed to this idea, it also points to the idea that Negan will take it to the farthest limits to intimidate someone and show that they are truly something to fear. I hope that some of you all that are watching right now are actually grasping the idea that I'm trying to point out here, in which I'm saying by him pointing out that he will cut the kid's eyes out and feed it to the father, it seems more of like a threat of what he will do to Carl to intimidate Rick if they try to do anything and save one of the members of the group that's going to get their heads bashed in, once again pointing to the idea that Rick and Carl are safe. And I hope you guys are grasping the idea here, and it's something that I did want to cover because not only is this something interesting to talk about, but it also limits the numbers down to where we can focus on certain characters and we no longer have to really focus on Carl or Rick dying. Therefore, we can analyze smaller details and focus on the rest of the members of the group. And it's like anything, like a crime scene, if you limit down the numbers of suspects, you have more time to study those suspects specifically and the very small details that come along with the situations that they interact with, which means that you get more time to focus on what is going on with them and possibly find out a solution. So this is why I did want to do this video. I really wanted to cover this because I thought it was definitely some good reasoning as to why Carl and Rick might not die. And I heard a lot of people talking about the possibility and I just wanted to give my thoughts and feelings on it. And make sure to let me know what you thought about the scene and whether who you think is going to die. I will definitely dive in deeper with this subject and I'm going to analyze a lot of smaller details and I am going to go very in depth in the future. So definitely expect some further analysis videos. As always, I really appreciate you all watching once again. Peace out.